Welcome to Fantastic Vision. Please subscribe us before you watch today's video. Due to the continuous reduction in China's chip imports, there has been a serious shortage of chip supply worldwide, which is undoubtedly bad news for TSMC, because their production base in the United States has not yet started production and the production base in the United States is also likely to stop production. This is a very important issue, and a very important issue. Despite TSMC's increased revenue, the company has cut investment, and cut investment in TSMC. ASML's revenue in the financial report is only 6%, and TSMC is ASML's largest customer, which shows that TSMC is reducing its investment in the semiconductor field while reducing production costs. TSMC was forced to do this because American semiconductor companies were unwilling to bear this high cost. So TSMC began to increase revenue and reduce expenditure, reduce investment in 3 nanometers process, and use the first generation of EUV lithography machines to manufacture 3 nanometers process. It is said that TSMC is also studying the use of the existing first generation of EUV lithography technology to conduct research on 2 nanometers process. TSMC's chip manufacturing in the United States is expensive. Previously, TSMC chairman Morris Chang predicted that the price of chips manufactured in the United States would rise by 50%. TSMC moved its factory to the United States, and those companies that followed TSMC to set up factories in the United States all stated that the manufacturing costs in the United States would increase by more than three times. With such a high price, American chip manufacturers have already stated that they will not share the money and the chip subsidy given by the U.S. government to TSMC is only 10%. Who should bear these additional costs? TSMC itself is also saving money and it is obviously unrealistic to let TSMC pay for it. This is a very important issue, and it is also a very important issue. In fact, this is not the first time TSMC has set up a factory in the United States. As early as the 1990s, TSMC wanted to build a factory in the United States in order to get support from American manufacturers, but the high production costs caused TSMC to suffer setbacks in the United States. In the end, TSMC had to close its production base in the United States and shift its focus to Taiwan, China. TSMC has therefore reached its peak today. TSMC came to the United States to build a factory, not for commercial purposes, but to support the U.S. government, but the U.S. position is becoming more and more clear. The object of their support is still Intel in the United States because Intel is a subsidiary of Intel, while Samsung, TSMC, and other companies that built factories in the United States are not in the eyes of the United States. 
The United States previously proposed a chip subsidy of 52 billion US dollars, of which 70% are patents of American companies such as Intel and Micron. The United States has proposed to ASML, a lithography machine manufacturer, to provide Intel with 6 2 nanometers EUV lithography machines out of 10 2 nanometers EUV lithography equipment, which shows that the United States still wants to help Intel take the lead in advanced processes. Intel recently announced that Intel has started the 18A process, that is, the 1.8 nanometers process, which is expected to be produced next year, and TSMC plans to launch the 2 nanometers process next year, so that Intel can regain its leading position in semiconductor processes. If Intel gains a leading position in chip manufacturing, the United States is likely to persuade NVIDIA and Qualcomm to sell their chips to Intel. Intel has already started producing chips, so there is no point for TSMC to stay in the United States, and the price of production in the United States is very expensive. TSMC is likely to give up production in the United States. This is a very important issue, and it is also a very important issue. The example of TSMC's failure to build a factory in the United States is not just one example. Like TSMC, Taiwan, China, Hunhai's factory in the United States has closed down. Trump was elected as the president of the United States. Hunhai Group, Hunhai, CEO Guo Timing once said that he would make a large investment in the United States. Trump also participated in the groundbreaking ceremony of this project, but then the United States quarreled over the subsidy issue, and the U.S. president was replaced by Biden. So Hunhai's U.S. production line has not started. This seems to be a characteristic of the United States. Their policies have no continuity. Once a new leader is replaced, the thinking will change. Some previous plans are likely to be overturned. Probably the same is true for TSMC.